What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we are showcasing a lot of people's favorite pseudo legendary from Generation 1, Dragonite. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, scroll down just a tad bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way and it really helps me grow as a content creator. But like I said, we are rocking out with Dragonite and we are back on the BDSP ladder. I know I haven't uploaded BDSP in a good little bit, but that's because Series 13 did come out in Sword and Shield. But just to let you guys know, BDSP content isn't going anywhere. So hopefully you guys do stay tuned and hopefully you guys do enjoy the BDSP videos. But without further ado, let's hop in today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Dragonite. It is a dragon and flying Pokemon. So we gave it the Yachi Berry as its item so it can actually eat up at least one ice move its evs and ability is going to be multi-scale and then its evs are going to be attack speed and hp so we made it a bit bulkier we fully invested it into attack and then we gave it a little bit into the speed so it's really really strong and it makes them really powerful move set for this guy it's going to be dragon dance to set up dragon call aerial ace and protect so we got two stab moves we have protect and then we got a setup move so basically what i want to do with dragonite is just pretty much sweep out battle set up some dragon dances roll out from there and just have this thing hit like a truck like it can Second Pokemon on squad is going to be our support speed control Weavile over here. It's got Fake Out, it's got Ice Punch, it's got Icy Wind and Night Slash. So it could speed control with Icy Wind, it could help Dragonite or even Pokemons like Gyarados or Titar set up moves with Fake Out, and it just works well all around. Its ability is going to be Pressure, and then its item that is holding is going to be the Focus Sash, so it does not get one tapped. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be Intimidate Gyarados, one of the strongest Pokemon in BDSP. We gave it the Life Orb as item, Intimidate obviously has its ability. The moveset is straightforward and normal with Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be his Arcanine. This is hands down my favorite Arcanine build in all of BDSP. It just works so well. It even works well in Sword and Shield. So if you guys want to try this build out right here, here's a great move set for it. It's Flamethrower, it's Snarl, it's will o -Wisp and Protect. We can drop Special Attack with Snarl. We can drop Physical Attackers with Burns. And then we also have Intimidate for more Physical Attack drops. Item for this Pokemon is going to be the Guap Berry. So when it falls below 1 4th HP, it's going to get a huge chunk of HP back. So keeps this Pokemon in the battle a lot longer. So you get a lot more value out of them. Fifth Pokemon on squad is Torterra, and I want to have some fun with this one. And I want to have some fun with this team, so I threw in Torterra, and Torterra is so much fun to use. It's grass and ground type, and it's rocking the leftovers as item. Ability first Pokemon is going to be Overgrow, and then its EVs are fully invested in HP and special defense, because he's already normally a defensive bulk. So investing effort values into uh, special defense makes him super bulky all around. Like, look at those stats. Just look at those stats. Move set first guy is going to be Leech Seed to set up that HP recovery. Earthquake for our stab move. Then we got Wood Hammer for stab again. And then Protect for our final move. So I'm hoping we can just out bulk Pokemon, set up some Leech Seeds, and then just go from there. Because then we'll get Leech Seed recovery. We will have Leftovers recovery. And then we can just Protect and kind of just stall out some battle. So I really love Torterra. Cannot wait to use him yet again. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tyrantar over here. Here. Tyrantar is just great all around because it hits like a truck and it's really good for weather control if you're going up against weather teams. It's got protect, it's got dragon ants set up, crunch, and rock slide. Ability is going to be that sand stream, and then the item he is holding is going to be the lumberry. But guys, there's a team preview for his amazing Dragonite team. Let's hop to the Coliseum. Let's grab ourselves some wins. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. We are hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against such a cool team. Our opponent is using one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Sceptile, and he also has Lapras, Heatran, Garchomp. Cresselia and Sableye. Okay, how should I play this one? How should Jeans go into it? I feel like Weavile and Dragonite, we got a lead, right? Get that rolling right off the rip. I dig it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go Weavile. I'm going to go Dragonite. He might end up leading the Sableye, and in that case, I might just protect the Dragonite. Kind of just uh, go after uh, his Pokemon from there. But we'll see. But yeah, Weavile, Dragonite going to be our lead Pokemon in the back end. I could go Gyarados. Gyarados isn't too bad. Super effective up against that Sableye, up against the Garchomp, up against the, well, not the Sableye, the uh, Sceptile, the Heatran, the Garchomp. Then we could bring Titar in the back end just to deal with that Cresselia. Could be really annoying. Or I could go Arcanine. I feel like Arcanine could be solid here as well. But in the, again, and then if he leads Lapras, I could go Arcanine and Dragonite. Maybe protect turn one and kind of get after it that way. Kind of lean towards more so that. And then go Gyarados in the back end, and then last but not least, Titar. Right? Titar sounds good. Or I can bring Weavile in the back. Weavile's not bad. I actually think Weavile on the front's gonna be a little bit better. You know what? We're, go we're going back to what we wanted. We have 10 seconds to pick. We're going Weavile. We're going Garrus. And then last but not least, we are rocking with Arcanine. Because Arcanine's the man. 
So Arcanine's the man, and I love this Arcanine build. So we're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I wonder what he's gonna do here. Is he gonna leave Sableye? He does, and I hate this game. So he's gonna fake out. I mean, my Weavile goes first, so I might as well fake out the crest, right? I might as well fake out the crest and maybe try to get off a of Dragon Dance if I can. Be my best bet. Unless he Alice, which is. So I'm gonna go for Dragon Dance. I am just gonna go for the fake out. Right into the crest slot. And we're gonna go from there. Hopefully, a save by fakes out my Weavile. Because Weavile's gonna go first here. So Weavile goes first. Bat, we drop fake out. Go ahead, save by. Go after my. Uh, he's gonna Will O Wisp, and it doesn't affect Weavile. Oh, yo, he pranks or Will O Wisp me. So we're gonna Dragon Dance here. We take a lot of speed. We take a lot of speed, and I don't know if I. If we should get rid of. Uh, or who we should get rid of here. That save by could be focused Ash. We know she's leftovers. Um, I do want to set up another Dragon Dance. I would have loved to do that, but I have to get rid of this thing. I mean, he is going to go after my Dragon Knight here. He's going to go after my Dragon Knight. So, actually, I'm just going to protect him. I'm just going to drop a do I Ice Punch. What does more damage? This lands a crit easier. I'm going to go for this uh, Ice Punch here. I'm terrified this Willow is coming into my Dragon Knight here. But he might be able to set up a Trick Room. Which is kind of annoying. But it could be Rock and Ice Beam. Let's see. Yep, there's a Willow is right into my Dragon Knight. And how much damage can this Ice Punch do? It's a beautiful amount of damage. That halves it. And, of course, this thing sits of course it is. Alright, so this thing's gonna be Citrus Berry. I could have Dragon Ants that turn, but I want to block that Willow and then this thing is just gonna go straight for Moon Blast. So we're gonna pop Focus Sash. So Focus Sash is gonna come out here. Kinda hurts the soul. Hurts just a little bit. And we're gonna go from there. Because we have a bunch of physical attackers, so we're gonna have to start getting rid of the Save Lie. The Save Lie has got to go. The Save Lie has got to go. So I'm gonna I might double down into it. I might double down into him. I'm gonna go Dragon Call and I'm just going to uh I'm just gonna nice slash. See how this one plays. Because he's going to burn me, right? Just for the wills. And we dodge it, yo. I love you. I love you, Dragonite. That's a big time dodge. So nice Slash comes out here. I should do a decent amount. And Dragon Call should be able to pick up this KO. I should have Icy Wind. But Dragon Call comes across. Beautiful. So that thing is gone. He's probably going for another Moon Blast. Taking a rebound. And I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. But at this point, is he going for the Moon Blast? He is. Going into... Yeah, Weavile. Cool. If he goes into Weavile, he finishes my Weavile off. I'm 100% cool with that. I think we just roll into Arcanine here. And we save our Gyarados for that back end, right? Arcanine could be really good. Intimidate right here. I can start Snarling, dropping special attack, and I can start getting after this Cresselia, right? Dragon Clawing it, Aerial Acing it, doing everything I can. It's just good place. It's just good place. Let's see who he throws out. I'm kind of hoping it's another special attacker, or if it's a physical attacker, we just intimidate it right off the rip. Let's see who it is. It's going to be Lapras, so. Hey, hey, that's alright. That's alright. I feel like we Snarl and maybe Protect here. We could Snarl and Protect. I feel like the Moon Blast has to come out against me. Or I can Dragon Dance up again. Or I can just Dragon Call into you. Who's posing a bigger threat here? I think this Lapras does, right? I mean, we don't really have too much to KO it. So, you know, I'm just going to Snarl it. And I'm just going to uh, Dragon Call into that slot. He might protect the Lapras. I'm kind of hoping not. I feel like he, he's got to go after, like... I feel like he has to go into an Ice Beam. Right? But if I can get this thing to minus one, it could be really good for us. The Dragon Call comes out here. And, oh my god get a crit that's a big time damage dragonite is getting after can snarl ko i would love it too but it doesn't dude it doesn't snarl does not ko which kind of hurts the soul but we do get that special attack drop it's so big up against both these special attackers i'm loving arcanine right now so if i had to guess i think a moon blast and a hydro pumps can come out here or something along those lines right he's gonna calm mind boost and i'm kind of cool with that i mean it boosts his special attack it boosts his special defense but we just have physical attackers in the back end i mean arcanine's really our only non-physical attacker on the team just for a sheer cold. And he, yo, this dude's looking for it. This dude's looking for it. Um, Can I snarl KO? That's my question. I don't think snarl can KO. I think I just go into a dragon call and then I just snarl. Right? Probably your best bet. I could go into a will o -Wisp thing, but I keep, I'd rather just keep dropping a single special attack, right? We can go for the ice shard. We do have the Yachi Berry. That's a huge place for us. That's a huge place for us. So this is going to pop out here. We're going to be able to soak. We have multi-scale. The Yachi Berry really helping us soak up. And I'm loving it all around. So Dragon Claw is going to come out here. We're going to finish this thing off. And we're going to put this Cresselia back to minus one. This is a solid battle. We still have our lovely little Gyarados in the back end. And I feel like he has to throw out either like the Garchomp. He has to either throw out like the Garchomp or the Heat Train, right? Or the Sceptile. One of the three has to come out here. The one that we can be super effective with. Today. He goes to a Moonblast. Should be able to soak pretty well. Do. Love it. Love it. We love it. 
this thing is going to go leftovers um if he goes into hmm what should i do here Sully is so annoying Sully is so annoying <laughs> it's so bulky i could burn it to kind of neglect the leftover damage we'll see who he wants to throw out here and it's gonna be garchomp garchomp is gonna come out here i feel like we just drag claw right we should be able to outspeed it at this point and at this point i'm just gonna throw a will o -Wisp over to Sully just to neglect the leftovers heals right he could protect the garchomp but we should outspeed it being plus one onto the dragon hands, right? Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. My boy's pretty fast, but he's not fully invested in the speed. So that's why I'm kind of like iffy if he's going to outspeed him, but I really do think he is going to. He's plus one on speed. Can I come wrong with it? And of course he doesn't. Wow, he doesn't. That hurts soul. Dragonite eats though. That really does hurt soul. But that, that turn still works out really good for us. <gasps> I flinched. I double flinched. We just lost. We just lost. We just lost because of a double flinch. Did we really just lose because of a double flinch? Well, we probably should have invested fully into speed with Dragonite. I would think a plus one Dragonite could have done it. Um, I could protect and burn, but... Actually, no, yeah, that works out pretty well. I'm going to protect you, and I'm just going to burn you. Get after this one. That hurts, yo. Double flinch? What you mean? Dude really double flinched me. So I'm going to hope that uh, after this burn, we can maybe soak up. Rock slide or something. We kind of get after it that way. But he's going to drop this. Arcanine's going to be able to eat. A Guav Berry should pop out here, which we love. I love the Guav Berry on this Arcanine. This is why I love this Arcanine set. It just stays in the battle for so long. It just stays in the battle for so long. Will Lewis comes out here. I could hard swap the Dragonite. I could hard swap the Ar Oh, hard swapping the Arcanine might be a plan. For Intimidate, it could be really good. This thing's going to keep calm lining. Rather annoying, but it, it'd be like that. At this point, I think we just try to get after this Garchomp, right? Snarl. Snarl onto the Garchomp, keep going. Because I wonder what this thing's special attack is. I wish I could see its stats. So Burn's going to chip up. I'm hoping we can eat up a Rock Slide. I think we cut it really close at this point. Or I could do this, and then just hard swap into, like, Gyarados just for the Intimidate. And Intimidate should be able to let us eat that shot up as long as we don't flinch. Right, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I gotta make sure we eat up this shot. I have to make sure my dragon I can eat up this uh, rock slide. And then not flinch and then take out the, the dragon or the car chomp. Let's see what it does. Intimidate's gonna pop out here. I am worried about this Cresselia. Cresselia is dead. Cresselia is so we don't like that. We don't like it all at one bit. Rock Slide comes out here. Dragonite, you should be able to eat. I love you. So that Intimidate was huge. What a play by Jeans. Dragon Claw comes out here. Okay, we finish this thing off. So you're dead. Get him on out of here. And what is Crest going for? Crest is kind of scaring me. I mean, it's boosted in special defense, boosted in special attack. Probably going for another combine. Now we'll go straight for Shadow Ball into this slide. Can you eat that up? Gary, can you please eat it up? All day. It's a beautiful eat up. Um, I think at this point, we just start teeing off damage with this. And then we Dragon Dance our... Our Gyarados. All right, makes the most sense. But yo, what a play by us to swap that Gyarados in, make my Dragonite being able to eat up a shot, and then take it out as Garchomp. That was huge plays by us. That was probably the biggest play of the game right there. Luckily, I like took my time a little bit and I thought out all of my plays. I was just like, let me think out my plays, see if I can do anything here, and that worked out perfectly. So Dragon Claw is gonna do a huge chunk of damage. I don't know who he's gonna take out or who he's gonna go after. I kind of hope he takes out my Dragonite because now I have my Gyarados set up, which is really well for us. What's he gonna do here? He's gonna go for a Moon Blast. It's gonna take out my Dragon Man, right? Now you go after him. He should be able to eat. Oh, that's GG's. That's GG's all day. Now you have two of the top tier physical attackers in the game Dragonite and Gyarados. Both Dragon Ants plussed up. You are dead. We're gonna Dragon Claw into you, and we're gonna Waterfall into you. Both sad moves. Get this Cresselia on out of here. That's GG's. Waterfall comes out here. Y'all send it. Built big time damage. And the Dragon Claw should be able to be here to clean up this mess. But there it is, guys. What a first battle to get this video started. Rolling out strong with Dragonite. He stayed in the whole battle, and then we make some great plays at the end to solidify that victory. First battle went pretty solid. We got to showcase Dragonite to his fullest potential and pick up a W. But we're hopping into our second battle. We're looking to go back to back. We're going up against a powerful team. He's got that Spore with that Smeargle. He has that Belly Drum Linoon. He has Scissor, which is going to be tough. And then he's also rocking uh, Articuno, Hip on top. And what is that Pokemon? Salamence. Uh, gotta lead Weavile. Weavile Weavile's an absolute must. It has to fake out. It does a lot of work. So Weavile is going to get the lead. Do I lead Arcanine with this as well? Arcanine's not too bad with the Intimidate, but again, if he leads the Lion, Lion could definitely be scary. 
I could leave Titar. I mean, Titar's not too shabby here. Drop us some rock slides. I kind of dig it. I mean, he could intimidate me with his him on top, but at that point, we're probably just going to fake it out. Right? Probably your best bet. Makes some no sense. Or I go with a... No, no, no. We're going to go Titar here. We're going to go Weeb out. We're going to go Titar. Um, I think I have to bring in Arcanine. Arcanine it does work up against a scissor, so I have to bring him in here. And then final Pokemon. Do I just go Gyarados? Gyarados would be the safe play, or we can have some fun with it and we'll have Dragonite. Hmm. I like Dragonite. You would like Dragonite. We do have the Yachi Berry for that Articuno. I'm going to roll into it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. This battle's not looking good. I just feel like his matchup is so much better than ours, but hopefully we can pull out a victory here with some good plays. It's going to end up going Lionoon and Smeargle. Oh, Smeargle, Lionoon. Uh, I think I just dropped a... I could Dragonite. I do have a Lumberry. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fake out the Lionoon, and I'm just going to do Dragonite here. Fake it out the Lionoon, and I'm trying. I'm not trying to deal with that, uh, that Smeargle. Right? <laughs> Miracle's a pain. Or I'm not trying to deal with the Belly Jump line on either. But I'm just going to Dragonite here. I know we learned Spore with Smeargle. So I'm kind of hoping he spores my uh, my T-Tar slot. So he can waste his turn there. But he might just protect the line. I can definitely see that happening. He ends up withdrawing the Smeargle. I'm a big fan of this turn. A huge fan of this turn. Who's going to go into? And my top's going to come out here. So he's going to intimidate us. I mean, Dragonite is going to cancel that out. I don't think that's too bad of a turn. And then he can fake out. Dude, he can fake out again. Oh, dude. Linoon's gonna get after it. Linoon's getting after it. Linoon is getting after it. Linoon's not playing around. That's an amazing swap by him. But at least we are Dragon Dance setting up. Uh, obviously, we gotta go into the... Uh, I could protect here. But I have to get after his Linoon, man. I definitely wanna go into this Rock Slide. Dude, he just poses such a big threat on me with a lot of different Pokemon. He could swap the Linoon, too. Because one close combat will take me out. But I feel like I have to double down to that line in the slot, right? Makes the most sense. Definitely makes the most sense. So Ice Punch can come out here. I'm going to go after line in. And I think I just rock slide across the board. Maybe try to get a full chunk to that hit my top. I could go for the close combat. He does withdraw the line in. Ow. What a bunch of, what a good, bunch of good plays. So he withdraws the line in. What are you going into? Salamence can come out here. Okay. Another Intimidate. Ah! Oh! Another Intimidate. Do me dirty. We are Ice Punching in that slot. I feel like we get off a lot of damage, even though we're minus two. Yeah, we, we, we're going to get rid of the Salamence and the Rock Slide, which we do. The Salamence is gone. Maybe looking for a flinch here. Hit my top is going to take out my T-Tar if we don't get a flinch. But if we do, I am going to swap. But we get rid of the Intimidate Pokemon. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. Let's go. That's big time flinch. So we know he wants to go into my T-Tar. We know he wants to go into my T-Tar. He probably goes back into line in here. I'm not even going to lie. I think Lining does come back out here. And I might go for a crit with this uh with this night slash. No, because it's a smear glow. Okay, I'm cool. I'm I'm cool with smear glow. At this point, uh what do I do? Nice punch. But night slash. I feel like night slash, if we get a crit, we get a bit more bag. So I'm gonna go for that. I have to hard swap to you into I don't even have characters. I could go into multi-scale. Multi-scale Pokemon, or I could just intimidate. Kinda lean towards this. Bit, bit of a better play. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we swap for T Tar. We're gonna save it for later. Him on top is just a pain up against it. Four times super effective with that fighting move. I'm just not dealing with it. Especially close combat. It's probably the strongest fighting move in the game. So we come off with an intimidate. Intimidate is gonna do wonders. He's definitely gonna go for the close combat. We're gonna drop his stats. And everything's just gonna go crazy. So it fakes out my weaves. How do you pick out my weaves? Um Smeargle does learn fake out. It's kinda kinda curious about that. So we soak up all day with Arcanine. That's a solid swap for this. He's going to end up swapping that Pokemon into... I don't know who he's going to swap into. I might just swap my... Uh... Hmm. Who do we think he's going to swap into? I might just throw a burn into that him on top slot. I might just swap my Weavile just so we can have fake out later. And I can bring back out T-Tar. But I don't think bringing out T-Tar is going to be fun. I'm going to bring out you. And I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp into this slot. I think he is going to swap him on top. I really do. But we swap into our Dragonite. We have multi scale. We're pretty beefy. And he does end up swapping the him on top. So hopefully he throws out a physical attack here. Who's going to be? Who are you rocking with? It's going to be Lining. And this is a physical attacker. So this burn could be great for us. This burn could be really good for us. Can we land this, please? I love you. I love you, Arcanine. So solid plays by us. So now we got Dragonite out on the field. I could D dance this turn. I could definitely D dance this turn. I feel like he hard swaps. 
I feel like he hard swaps the Smeargle, and at this point, I just burn the Smeargle. What do I do here? I could D-Dance. I could definitely D-Dance, but I feel like I take this opportunity to get some damage off. Right? Makes the most sense. The burns, the buffets, everything's flying around here. <laughs> it's going crazy. Uh, yeah, like I said, I could D-Dance. We already have speed. Uh, what do I want to do? I kind of just want to Dragon Call into this slot. I just double down in the slot. I'm going to double down to the Smeargle slot. He withdraws the Smeargle. Yep. I knew he's swapping. I wonder what Lion he's going for. I knew he might even protect this turn. I knew he might even protect this turn. Let's see what it does. Timonate comes out here. Luckily, my Arcanine is special attacking. What is Lion doing? Lion could be going for a B drum here. Could be rather annoying. But Flamethrower comes out here. Giving off some nice damage. Can Dragon Call finish this thing off? Oh, we get a crit. And he does go for the belly drum. I don't like this one bit. I do not like this. <laughs> He's going to Citrus Berry up. Probably should have went after Lion. I knew I should have went after Lion. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, Titar can do some work onto that Lion. It really can. Now that we got rid of that him on top, that's big. Because Titar should be able to soak up extreme speeds. It is should be faster than that. This is just tough. Like, extreme speed just does work. I feel like at this point we double down the line and he has to bring out Smeargle. Smeargle could spore and he could protect the lining. Like, dude, this is tough because he could protect the lining because I am going to double down into it because I feel like I have to. But Smeargle can spore after if he protects the lining. What's he doing here? He goes for the fake out. Okay, so he fakes out Arky. He's going for extreme speed. He is going to go for extreme speed. And Dragonite soaks. Yo, thank you, burn. Thank you, burn. Big time burn. Dragon Claw comes out here. Should be able to chip up some nice damage here. Oh, so that's a big damage. We can just protect and uh, finish off this lining. That's GG's. That is GG's. What a battle. What a battle. The Dragonite coming in clutch again. We love it. We love it. Double protects going to come out here. We're going to first first force the burn for the KO. And we're going to go 2-0 in today's video, which is awesome. Hopefully, I can roll out in battle number three and just get Torterra rolling. That would be pretty cool because that's the only Pokemon we haven't showcased yet. Final battle coming at you guys. We are sitting at 2-0, and, and we guaranteed ourselves a winning record for today's video. Got Dragonite out in both battles. It did work. It did work in that second battle, too, which I absolutely love. And like I said, we got two wins. But we're hopping into the third battle, going up against a pretty strong team. A lot of heavy meta Pokemon with the Scissor, the Garchomp, the Latios, the Breloom, the Rotom, and then the Articuno. But uh, I feel like T-Tar, or not T-Tar, uh, Torterra. It'll be pretty decent here. We can definitely try to get that thing set up. So I am going to go to Torterra here. Try to have some fun with this one. Torterra alongside Weavile could be good. There's no Intimidate Pokemon, which is works wonders. So I am going to go Weavile. I'm going to go Torterra. I'm going to try to get some Leech Seed set up. And we're going to try to roll out the battle from there. I think I have to bring out Arcanine. Arcanine is just super effective up against the Scissor. Up against the Breloom. Up against the Arcanine. It just works well. So I'm going to go to them. And then final Pokemon, do I go Gyarados or Titar? I'm going to keep Dragonite in the back. And I feel like we get more value out of either Gyarados or Titar here. Hmm. What is the play, Jeans? Gyarados is nice. I do like Gyarados a bit more. But actually, I don't know. Because Tyranitar is going to be uh, super effective up against Articuno, up against the Latios. That's it. And then Gyarados is going to be super effective up against the Breloom and the, and the Latios. Hmm. I think I gotta go. I think I gotta go Gyarados here. I think I have to go Gyarados. Especially because we it does have Intimidate too. So I can roll out with two Intimidate Pokemon. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. But yeah, sitting at 2 0, guaranteed ourselves a winning record. We can chill back. We can relax in this battle. We kind of roll from there. So he's going to end up going into uh, these two. Uh, might protect the scissor. I think he is going to protect the scissor. I think he is going to protect the scissor. I could go for a lead seed. I could go for a lead seed. Uh, hmm. That's what I want to do. Kind of did want to go for a lead seed into here, but I think he protects the scissor. I make that, do I make that call that he protects the scissor? Let me just get in for some Arcanine in the slot. Now we're gonna go for Sleet Seed and I'm just gonna fake out this. Well, I think he does protect the scissor. Does not protect the scissor. So is Bull Punch coming out here? B Punch coming out here? I'll use my Focus Dash all day. He's gonna. Swords Dance! How dare you? They pop Swords Dance. We are gonna seed it up, which is pretty good. So hopefully we land this uh, lead seed. It would be really good for us. We do. So we could. We do have lead seed set up. We could force a swap. Um, I do have focus Ash ready to roll. I feel like we just start getting after the slot, right? 
I EQ to a wood hammer. I mean, I'm scared of that ice move coming in here, so I'm just gonna protect with Terra. And I think I just ice punch here. I gotta get off damage on this slot. I mean, I can deal with the scissor later in the match. E punch is probably coming out here. But I gotta protect Torterra because I can't deal with like an ice beam or something like that. Ice punch coming in hot. Yeah, I'll eat. Not bad damage. And he's gonna go for the freeze drive, which we block. So yeah, cool. We dodge that. B punch probably flying out here. I was gonna U turn out. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the U turn out. So when U turns out here, we do trigger Focus Ash. Uh, and I wonder who he goes into. I do wonder who he goes to do. Maybe Garchomp to force protect. But at that point, I just want to swap into my Arcanine. I think. Here. Or even Gyarados. He doesn't breathe him. The Breedlim does come out here. Uh, Mach Punch is probably flying. It's scary, so I am just going to swap into Arcanine here. I like go Gary. I like Arcanine just poses more in the field. So I'm going to have to lose a Weavile here. I could. Double swap. They're kind of liking a little bit more. Double intimidate. Yeah, we're going to double intimidate here. Because again, he's going for the freeze try into the Arcanine slot. He's going to go for the mock punch into the um, slot. So we'll save our Weavile fake out for later in the match. It's going to be a good battle. It's going to be a good battle. So I think I think we predicted his turns really well. He's going to swap to Breelim next turn because it's going to be intimidating too. But this turn is just looking solid. It really is. It really is. It's looking wonderful. It's looking wonderful. It's a solid swap. It's a solid swap. As long as he goes for that mock punch and the freeze dry, right? As long as he goes for both of them. Okay, let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Freeze dry, mock punch. There's the mock punch. Yep, we soak all day. And then the freeze dry should come out into the Arcanine slot, which I would love. Yep, right, correct. Okay, so good reads by us. We read his full turns and we make two incredible swaps. Two incredible swaps. So, uh, Arcanine could just flamethrower. I really just want to flamethrower that slot. I think I just Dragon Dance this slot. So I feel like the Breedlum gets a swap. It's minus two. It doesn't really want to stay in, right? Unless it's just sporing around. I just don't see it really staying in here. This is a beautiful battle. There's the Withdrawal and the Breedlum. Look at that. Look at the reads coming out from your boy. Your boy's making some hard reads. We love it. He's going to end up going into Rotom here. Thinking we're going into like Ice Fang or something. He ends up protecting this Pokemon. Uh, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. I D Dance here. I got a plus one. Okay, uh, I don't mind that. I do not mind that. I feel like at this point, we could hard swap back into Torterra at this point. I definitely want to flamethrower this slot. I think I just protect this slot. The thing is, a Thunderbolt could come out here. And we could swap Torterra next turn, but I don't really know. He knows we have speed. That's a solid dragon answer. Pose a lot threat with it. He's gonna end up with Strawn. Oh my god, dude, the swaps in this battle is crazy. Both of us are swapping really well. He's gonna go on the prelim. Okay, so this flamethrower is gonna be solid for us. I don't mind. As long as he's not going into a Hydro Puppet to my Arcanine slot. I'm gonna Thunderbolt, right? He's gonna go for the Volt Switch. So it looks for the pivot out here. I'm cool with that. I could hard swap into my, uh, into my What's Called next turn. My Torterra. But if Flamethrower comes out here. We do trigger Sash, which is us. I like that turn because I get Snarl next turn and just go into Terra Swap, right? Makes some no sense. So Snarl's gonna come out here, and I'm just a hard swap right into Terra. Just in case he wants to go into another Volt Switch. Wow, yo, this is an insane battle. This is one of the best BDSP battles I have. Swapping in and out, we're making some good reads. He's making some good reads. Does he go for the Volt Switch again? Just for the Mach Punch, we soak up. He goes for Discharge. I'm cool with that. So he's gonna end up taking out his Breloom. Arcanine's gonna go down to this HP. I think that triggers a Bob Berry. And more importantly, we get off a Snarl here. Big time Snarl comes out here. He's gonna force Arcanine back out here. Or not Arcanine. He's gonna first force Articuno back out here. Look at that like, Wild Berry HP recovery. That's amazing. This is amazing. So I feel like at this point, um, hmm. he goes into Articuno, right? To pose a threat onto Torterra. Right? Yeah. I feel like we just flamethrower this slot. And then we just set up this beautiful lead seed. I just go for a wood hammer instead of going for a lead seed. But I feel like he might swap. He has a lot of different options here. I might just protect. I feel like I have to protect here, right? I have to. Articuno protects too. He's going to go for that, uh. He's going to go for that Hydro Pump here. Oh, I could have lead seed. I should have lead seed. I would have been the play. 
So don't with my gut. This is such a good battle. Hydro Pump miss. Going for the Volt Switch. I'm cool with the Volt Switch. I am cool with the Volt Switch. Because he's going to throw out... Who's this final Pokemon? This battle's too good, man. This battle is way too good. This is probably one of the better BSP uh, videos I had. Who's he going into? Scissor. I totally forgot about Skizzy. So Skizzy could protect here. I feel like Skizzy has to protect, right? And we get rid of the Articuno. I'm just going to Flamethrower over here. I'm just going to swap into Intimidate Gyarados. Best bet. Best play ever. Best play ever. So he withdraws Articuno. What is going on? The swaps. <laughs> the swaps. <laughs> I should have lead seed it. He might, he might try to get rid of my Arcana. Oh my gosh. Battle's going to distance. It's going to distance. I need to get rid of this Ar Articuno. But not a bad Intimidate coming out here. Maybe we, maybe we can get lucky and get a little bit of a burn action onto this uh, Rotom. We're going to see how this one plays. You know, yeah, he protects the scissor all day. We knew the scissor was protecting. Flamethrower comes out of here. He's sending it. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Just get some chip damage later. Give me the burn. No burn. Okay, so no burn comes out here. I think at this point, we still just flamethrower. I feel like I need dance here. Because it's at the point where he either loses scissor, loses Arcanine, or I get off a of D-Dance, right? I think that's my best bet. Let's we'll see what he does. We go for double protect. If he lands double protect, that could be GG. Uh, yo, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys are, these are great battles. Make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, how'd you make it to the video this far and you're not subscribed? Seriously, just click that big red subscribe button. But, 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 but. This battle's too good. This battle's way too good. I have to, like, now we got him in a decent position here. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump. He does out speed. That kind of hurts the soul. So he gets rid of me. I get off with the dance. I don't think Scissor can take me out. I do not think Scissor can take me out. Wait. Now I get off this beautiful D dance. I think I force out Poor Terra, right? He's Swords Dance here. I think with this. Um. Hmm. Dude, this is too good. This is too good of a battle. I gotta force out Torterra. I have to force out Torterra. And the thing is here, I feel like we go for a wood hammer to finish off this thing. And we go for a straight wood. I feel like that's the play. As much as I want to set up Leech Seed and have fun with this one, we have to make this play. It ends up withdrawing him. It's a fine play. We're not, we're not protecting or anything. I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. Waterfall's gonna fly here. Can we KO with that waterfall? We do not, and that hurts the soul. So he's going for an X scissor. He's going for a U-turn. U-turn takes me out. I'm a bulky turtle. I'm a bulky turtle. And a U-turn takes me out. Get on out of here. I get a sword stance, I get a stab, but I'm a bulky turtle. I should have been able to survive. When that thing, when that bug can survive with a whole waterfall. So now we're sitting here, our indeed dragon ants. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What does Jeans do here? I feel like we have to double down into this, uh, this little, right? I think we have to double down into this. Little. Good dragon ants again. I'm really, I'm really liking the double dragon ants. Or I just go after you. Yeah, you know I'm gonna go after you. Nice big fake out. Of course this thing's rocking this right? Oh my god, this battle's coming down to it. It's coming down to it. And Waterfall KO here. Waterfall should be able to KO this Articuno. Beautiful. Okay. Still has Scissor, right? Yeah, he still has- Oh, that hurts. I totally forgot about Scissor. How'd I forget about Scissor after he just you turn him? Pimp me gonna be punch he might even protect um oh god he's gotta be punchy right I feel like we have to go after this thing look for some punches protect your bug nope there's bull punch what a battle though coming out the wire we could get a flinch here and maybe have a shot here because scissor can't really do too much damage on the Gyarados we are waterfall in here give me a flinch 
me some big damage. Some big damage. Give me a flinch. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. The 10% flinch chance with the waterfall. Give it to Jeans here. We do not get it. Volt Switch comes out here. And we lose this amazing battle number three. Wow, guys. That was such a good battle all around. Round of applause for our opponent. Great swaps from them. Great swaps from us. But we end up losing. What an amazing set of three battles in today's video. Battle number one and battle number two. We got to showcase Dragonite. Get it out there and dominate and grab ourselves a win. And then battle number three was just a crazy all around great BDSP double battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.